So from your two point of view then, who deals with what? Let's get an Aaron and a Harry, like 30 second, I do this. You, you don't do much, I know you don't do yeah. much, Harry, but, um. Harry. Harry likes to be the face of the company. That's his big thing. <laughs> and I'm um, bloody. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Um, but no, it's, it's an interesting one. Our whole business has actually been built off the three skill sets that we have. So Nick, Harry and I, as the three founders, for the first four, five, six months of the business, it was just us. And our business is essentially... A representation of our skill sets. Um, what that fundamentally look like looks like is my position would be sales, I suppose. Sales and, and growth. I'd yeah, say that. growth and positioning of the business, positioning of our services, products, all that sort of Which, stuff. Because we're a sales-led business, has always been one of the forefront yeah. roles. Yeah, Nick is more of a people person, more of a he's been the middle cog essentially. Um, so I'll come back to Nick, but. I bring the work in. Harry's job is to deliver it all. We are the best agency in the world at delivering at this sort of scale in these sort of products. And that's mainly um, because of our delivery team, um, which is obviously led by Harry and then Frankie, Tom Bohr, Emily, a load of other brilliant people. So they very much do that. And they're an extension of Harry. And then Nick does everything in the middle that keeps it all together. That's essentially what Nick's job is. I go and win the clients. Harry and I would hash out what the deal is, all that sort of stuff, and then very much be passed over to Nick. Nick would make sure it actually gets done, things are actually on time, all the structures and processes are in place. Calls of the client. Yeah, he's much more detail orientated than we are. I would be probably the more big picture one out of the three of us. Harry is also big picture, but still has a focus on the day-to-day -day of the campaigns, and then Nick is more of the day-to-day -day of the business. Yeah, yeah, so you sort of like commercial vision um creative campaign nicks at the coal face doing like effectively if you look at it in like an, a traditional agency model like client services camp management like yeah. project management exactly getting it, getting and he's had to door. be thrown even more into that i think if he was back in the uk so nick um for listeners nick runs our new york office so he's he moved out there in july last year so lucky fucker and, well yeah i mean but a massive sacrifice and we yeah. hugely appreciate the the sacrifice he made on our behalf in order to go and do that because you know it's a massive life change he's not he's not my age he's 28 he was moved out when he was 28 so he'll be he'll come back when he's 30 um you know that was a massive life decision for him it was him to move in with his girlfriend as well at that point where they'd never lived together and they moved to a different country and lived together so you know fair play to him i i wasn't in a position to do what he did um, but he was also the perfect person to send because he had an understanding of the whole business where he, because he yeah. sat in the middle and because Aaron and I had run our own businesses before. I set my first one up when I was 16. Aaron had done you know a few before we started Go. When Nick hadn't, Nick had worked for people throughout the whole time, so it was really nice for him to be able to go, okay, I'm going to go and make a company for myself. And the US, the Singapore office, the Monaco office in, in some ways, and the UK are the same business, but they're very much operated in silos. Um, so Nick was growing a business from scratch without that much support from the UK office, despite, you know, sort of top level support on his own and huge credit to him to be able to do that. But because he has some personal relationships, he's got the willingness to go out and get there, um, go for beers, go for dinners, you know, do all the hard work, the networking. That's why it suited him, not us. Cause that's just not us. And you know that you know, from knowing me, 